For all of our friends in the Jewish community, it's an exciting day. The holiday of Hanukkah begins tonight at sundown. Joining us this morning, we've got Rabbi Mendy Sirota of the WCRJ Community Center. Thanks so much for waking up with us. We appreciate that. Of course, thank you very much for having me. So talk about Hanukkah. It's sometimes called the Festival of Lights. Why is that? So the central observance of Hanukkah is the lighting of the menorah, which is a nine branch candelabra that holds either oil or candles. And on the first night, one light is lit, and on every successive night, an additional light is added so that on the eighth night, eight lights are lit. And what's kind of the, the symbolism of, of the light and the candles? Right, so we add an additional light each night, and the significance of that is the idea of a lack of complacency, that the good of today is no longer enough for tomorrow, and would need to be added. And the good of tomorrow would no longer be enough, and we need to be added the day following that. So we never suffice with where we're at. We're always looking to grow and improve and increase in goodness and kindness. I love that. I often say it's important to be patient, but not complacent. Exactly. So, <laughs> and, and this illustrates that beautifully. Um, so talk about some of the other traditions. I, we've got so many beautiful things up here. So that would be the proverbial uh, hot potato in the room. Uh, Hanukkah <laughs> celebrates the victory of the ancient Maccabees, a small band of Jewish fighters against their ancient Syrian Greek oppressors in the land of Israel. And when the victorious Maccabees returned from the battlefield, they wanted to rededicate and rekindle the menorah, which stood in the temple in Jerusalem. Uh, they found only one cruise of pure oil, which was sufficient to light the menorah for only one day, and it would take another eight days to get more pure oil. So uh, there was no Trader Joe's in those days, <laughs> and uh, so a miracle happened, and that one day supply lasted for eight days. And so to commemorate the miracle of oil, we eat foods that are drenched in oil. Hence the jelly-filled donuts, which are the Hebrew term sufganiyot, and the potato latkes, the potato traditional fried pancakes. And those are down uh, here. That's, that's over there, yeah, so that is a, is a Hanukkah staple. Do you like put syrup on them? I hear pancakes and I want butter and syrup. <laughs> so applesauce, um, sour cream, jelly, mm. any of those good stuff would, it, would go. And then you've got the chocolate coins. Explain that. So the chocolate coins are actually a contemporary version of the Hanukkah gelt tradition, which started, gelt is a Yiddish word for money, uh, which is something that we, we give children on Hanukkah to teach them, to train them to be charitable and to give to those that are less fortunate than others. So much beautiful symbolism going on. Uh, what would you say is the takeaway message or lesson for, for the holiday season? So the message of Hanukkah is really the message of light. The nature of light is that it is always victorious over darkness. Just a little bit amount uh, of light will always dispel darkness. And so the message for us is another random act of goodness and kindness, another act of light will really make all the difference in our society and in our world. Uh, our ancestors wanted to rededicate the temple in the Jerusalem with the menorah, and today we rededicate ourselves by making this world a better and brighter place. And the miracle is, even though we may feel low on oil ourselves, we have enough light to light the world. Exactly, 100%. The WCRJ Community Center is sponsoring Denver's first helicopter chocolate gelt. Those are those little coins. That's a uh, drop that's going to happen next Sunday, December 29th at Infinity Park. All are welcome to join, regardless of affiliation or background. Reservations can be made online at wcrjcolorado.com, and we will post a link to that on our website, cbsdenver.com.